What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another Minecraft update video. There are, hang on, 46, 46 new add-ons slash maps added to the market, right marketplace. I'm going to tell you the top five that got my attention with some honorable mentions. Okie dokie, starting with the first one, Zombie Siege Biolab by Dig Down Studios. Now, this is the first one of the this studios I've seen. I know this is a series, but uh, this is the first time I've seen this series with this particular studio. It looks very interesting. It's, the description breaks it down as a horde mode. You're trying to fight off, I think what it was, 60 waves? Yeah, there's 60 ways of an increasing difficulty and the goal is to figure out how to get out while you're doing that. It seems very interesting. Again, I haven't really tried any of the dig down stuff before, so I might give this a look-see. Pretty pricey. It's about 10 bucks, uh, which for a Minecraft mod, that's pretty expensive. So I don't, I definitely will check this out because a lot of people are gonna wanna know if this is good or not seeing how pricey this is so it looks cool i'll definitely either do a probably a quick review because there's a couple of things i'm going to be probably occupied with when it comes for uh my let's plays and whatnot uh number two is new base by uh block block lab studios this one looks uh like a decent base you guys as you know i like to check the base out uh, definitely look for a quick review on this seems simple but it seems like it should be a really good starter base it has a mine has all the basics a portal all the different things a decent I like the look of this uh, farm here like I said definitely gonna give this one a quick review I think it looks good I think it might be a really good nice starter survival base so definitely look for a uh, quick review on that now number three and four these ones i was really looking forward to let's first go here with paleocraft paleocraft looks very 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 interesting people have been sending me messages about this one for a long time like this has been in the works this has over a hundred added dinosaurs in it well, it says 100 new creatures. I'm just saying they must be either dinosaur or prehistoric light. Um, 15 new vehicles and 12 exclusive skins. Now, the day of this releasing, I will have uh, be live streaming this. Uh, this is going to be coming out after the live stream. I'm preparing it now. Uh, so if you have it, I sh the live stream should still be up on my channel so go check that out if you're interested in looking this one up looks very interesting a lot of people are excited about this one so am i so i'll definitely be checking it out um copycraft i this i think this is the first one of the maps of their maps that i've tried so definitely looking forward to seeing how that one is but then <laughs> for number four is dinosaurs by Everbloom Games, which the fact that these guys came out with their two dinosaur games at the same time is hilarious. I feel like somebody knew what was going on there. <laughs> okay, so dinosaurs everywhere. Discover tons of newly added dinosaurs in a massive custom world. Tame, ride, breed them, hatch, learn about each dinosaur as you discover. Uh, journal entries okay so i really like everbloom they put a lot of function into their maps i like the look of this one as well now this one doesn't add a hundred new creatures but does add 36 so what i'll probably be doing for this one is a let's play series i normally have fun with the everbloom game and as you guys know, dinosaurs and dragons, I'm almost mandatory to at least look at <laughs> on my channel. I've got to at least look at them. All right. 
going back down for our last one busted busted looks very interesting I, I really do like sharpscape uh, shapescape they actually do a really good job they did that gladiator game that I did a series on had a lot of fun with that they're kind of like another I, I kind of stacked them up right next to Everbloom because they both make really, really nice functioning maps that are more than just you running around a basically edited regular world. This one gives you objectives and stuff to follow. This one says you have to sneak, solve puzzles, climb, like you're trying to get your video game back from your parents, but you have to sneak around the house without them seeing you. I'm very curious to see how they did this. Very curious to see how this works. And if it works well or not. Very interesting. Definitely going to be doing... Probably... I don't know. It might be a quick review. I might do it on one of the live streams. I am not sure. But I definitely will be doing something with it. All of them are... On the pricier side. But uh, not too pricey. This one is. Five bucks. Isn't too bad for a Minecraft map. But definitely, definitely on the slightly pricier side. Okie dokie. And those are our top five. At least I think that's our top five. Did I? One, two, three, four. Yep, that's five. Here are my honorable mentions. Number one for honorable mentions is Super Kart Racers by Akvan. I like Akvan too. They normally do a really good job as well. And I do want to start checking out more of these multiplayer style maps for sure. Now, I'm not sure here. Does this one have NPCs racing? It doesn't say. So I'm pretty sure this is a multiplayer map. Um, I'm definitely going to be checking this one out because I want to find more stuff for us to cover on the Tedious Gamers channel. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out now. I go subscribe we have a podcast up we're gonna be having a lot more stuff going up there soon so definitely watch that we're gonna have a lot of fun on that channel it's, uh, me and uh, three other YouTube uh, uh, Minecraft creators so we're having a really good time I definitely want to do a couple episodes of us playing that on the channel so definitely go there look that up you should be it should be fun okay millionaire island uh, by fall studios People really like these millionaire islands, millionaire bases, millionaire houses. I've played a couple of them. Some of them are okay, but for me, I treat them as bases because uh, that's kind of what they are. There's like there's really nothing other than really big do there. They're just bases. And then you have another one I really like the look of this modern base. I definitely will probably be doing a base review on this. It looks really interesting. Always with these parkour. I hate this. <laughs> I hate parkour so much. But everybody wants to put parkour in their in their maps now. Definitely. Like that. And an another one. Feed the Beast presents Stone Block. Now I'm not sure what's going on with this. Uh, Hero Academy Gaming was trying to explain it to me. Like I said, God, it looks interesting, but I'm not sure what what exactly is going on here. I definitely will be checking it out later on. So I might do a quick review on that or not. But definitely did get my attention real quick. I'm like, what is going on here? You know? I don't know. Like, two people teamed up and they're bringing fully underground survival adventure like never before. You spawn into a pocket of air surrounded by stone and you must progress to survive over 30 unique quests uh, I don't know I don't know I, I I may test that out on my own and do a quick review I'm not sure I did a lot of destination style ones you've got you know modern cliffside house desert kingdom these are just custom spawns and whatnot so 
you know, yeah, as usual, there's always those throughout the week. Okie dokie, guys, that's going to be about it for me. Oh, yeah, and then the Valley of the Dragon, that's another honorable mention for me. That does look really good. It looks like just another custom spawn, but a big custom spawn. Like when I looked at, you look at the photos here, there's a lot going on here in this in this map. It looks really good. So this might be worth a quick look-see as a quick, definitely for a quick review, because I, I love how that looks. And it's, like I said, it's really good size. So we'll see what happens. According to the picture too, I believe there is, yeah, there is a dragon that you can tame, I think. So, it doesn't say that in the description, but I'll, I'll still be checking it out. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you've seen any maps that I didn't say anything about that you're interested in, why don't you let us know in the comment section down below, or come onto one of our live streams and say, hey, you going to try to play this game? <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee I'll be able to play it, but at least I know what you guys are looking for. But, thank you again for watching. Make sure to catch our live streams and other videos on the channel by subscribing and hitting that notification button. Alright guys, Average Arcader out.